I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts 2.21 And through signs, science and symbols, the Lord has prepared us for the end that is soon about to come. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Luke 10, 2. And from the beginning of the earth, there have always been three witnesses who have yielded the harvest, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree as one. 1 John 5, 7. For as we know, the Father is the creator, and he sent water to this earth so that we could live. For God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Genesis 1, 6 through 7. And the Son is blood, for the Son of God came to earth as a man in order to offer his blood for mankind. And in sacrificial love, he offered his life as a sin offering for the atonement of our sins. And while the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of a deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters, then God said, let there be light, and there was light. Genesis 1, 2. Thus, from the beginning, the three were there. The Spirit, who was there with the water, who was the Father, and the light and the blood, who was the Son. And it is through the power of these three that the harvest has been produced as a witness upon this earth. While the earth remains seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Genesis 8:22. For the Hebrew word for harvest is katsir, which means the time to gather the harvest. And the Father gave us time while the earth remains to sow and gather the harvest. For the Lord sent his laborers out to sow the harvest. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Luke 10, 2. And now the time has come to reap the harvest. As the sun said, Do you not say there are still four months, and then comes a harvest? Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes, look at the fields, for they are already ripe for the harvest. And he who reaps receives wages, and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. John 4, 35-37 And harvest comes from the Greek word genema, which means fruit. And as the Son said, it is the fruits that are gathered for eternal life. 
and what do we know of a scientific pathway of a harvest? Scientifically, this process is called photosynthesis. And the formula for photosynthesis is 6 H2Os plus 6 CO2 plus sunlight yields C6H12O6 plus 6O2. And more simply, it can be defined as water plus CO2 plus sunlight yields sugar plus oxygen. And symbolically, we know that the Father is water, the Spirit is air, and the Son is light. And sugar is the fruit of the harvest. And now we can clearly see that the Father plus the Spirit plus the Son yields the fruits of the Holy Spirit. In other words, it is the Trinity that produces the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And now that we are at the end of the age, the time of the harvest is ripe. As the sun said, the field is the world, the good seeds are the sons of the kingdom, but the tares are the sons of the wicked one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil, the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and those who practice lawlessness, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth, then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew 13, 38 through 43. And the Greek word for harvest is therismos, which means the act of reaping the harvest. And what is reaping? The act of reaping is yielding a sharp sickle to thresh the wheat until the fruit is separated from the chain. Thus the sun and his angels shall come forth with their sickles and thresh through the harvest and separate the earth. And the righteous shall be taken up, but the lawless shall be thrown into the fire. Then I looked, and behold, a white cloud and on the cloud sat one like the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, Thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time has come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Revelation 14, 14 through 16. Lord of harvest, Lord and how will they be separated? By their fruit, as the sun said. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, if a good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Matthew 7, 16 through 20. Give thanks to our God in nature And fruit is derived from the Greek word karpos, which means produced by work. Thus, it is by the quality of our work that we shall be defined. And the good fruit is a fruit that is produced by our works with the Spirit. For one third have produced the fruits of the Spirit. And I will bring the third part through fire, refrain them as silver is refined, and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name, and I will answer them. I will say, They are my people, and they will say, the Lord is my God. 
Zechariah 13.9. But those left behind have produced bad fruit, and as it says, it will come about in all the land, declares the Lord, that two parts in it will be cut off and perish. Zechariah 13.8. Thus two-thirds of mankind who have not produced the fruits of the Spirit shall be cut off and thrown to the fire. May we continue to work and pray for the harvest that will not be thrown into the fire.